Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy with a four part mini course where you are gonna learn how to build a custom wiggle button panel in Adobe After Effects using Cursor AI. That's right, by the end of this project, you will have built your very own custom dockable panel for Adobe After Effects. This panel is gonna allow you to select any layer property such as position, scale, rotation, and apply the wiggle expression by simply entering a value or using sliders and clicking on the wiggle button, the expression will be added. And if you wanna change the value, you just select the property, change the values of the frequency and the amplitude, click the wiggle button, it will update the wiggle expression on that property. And what's great, is that the panel that you build is not limited to the wiggle expression. That's right, so everything you learn in this course is gonna allow you to fully expand and customize this panel however you want. Just imagine having your own custom panel in After Effects with all of your favorite expressions, presets, and effects all in one place. This is a beginner-friendly course. You don't have to know how to use cursor, you don't have to know how to write code, and you really don't even have to know how to use After Effects. But if you are interested in learning how to use AI to possibly build cool things for tools such as Adobe After Effects, well, this is the mini course for you. I have broken this project into four main parts. And if you're already familiar with Cursor, maybe you already have an account and you've downloaded it to your computer, we well, you can skip part one and just start right at part two. Part one is an introduction to Cursor AI, which is a smart code editor. If you've heard the term vibe coding, or maybe you've heard people talking about no code AI tools, well, you've probably heard them mentioned with Cursor. And if you haven't, no problem. We are gonna start from the beginning explaining what Cursor is. I'll show you how to set up a new account, how to download and install it to your computer. And we're gonna open up Cursor and take a tour of the interface. Part two, we start to build the wiggle panel. First, we set up a project folder to keep everything organized. Then we open up the folder in cursor where we start to do a little vibe coding. And by the end of part two, we actually have a panel built with a button that says wiggle. In part three, we make the wiggle button on our panel work. So we open the project in cursor we tell Cursor to look at the code that are already created and to add some functionality to the wiggle button. So when we select a property in After Effects and press the wiggle button, it is going to add the wiggle expression on that selected property. Part four is the last part of the project where we add some additional functionality to make our wiggle panel awesome. We also test everything out to make sure that everything is working properly. And if it's not, we go back into cursor and do some debugging, which really just means typing in a text prompt, telling cursor to go fix things and tell us when it's done. Once cursor has fixed everything and added the additional functionality, by the end of part four, you will have your own dockable custom script UI panel for After Effects that has a wiggle button, two sliders, one for frequency, one for amplitude, and two number input fields so you can manually enter in the wiggle expression, including adding decimals. And at the end of part four, you're gonna pat yourselves on the back for a job well done. You just created your own panel that you can use in all of your After Effects projects without writing one single line of code. So if you're ready to learn how to use cursor to build things for After Effects, let's jump into it with part one.